So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the right. What would be the correct terminology? Right. We refer to our brand as Right. We're incorporated as Right Manufacturing. Right Manufacturing. Yep. There's the Right More line, correct? Yep. Because it ain't right, it's wrong. That's correct. <laughs> All right. So here we are at the Right Manufacturing, and we have the Right Robotic Standard ZK, and uh, it's driven by satellite. That's right. There's a lot of different sensors going right. on with this machine. And we have a Mr. Ed Wright here himself. Yes, hey, Ed. I'm Ed Wright from Wright Manufacturing, CEO of Wright and Wonderful. Could you uh, give me a little information about this machine? Yeah, so overall what we're doing with this is this is our ZK chassis, which we've had for many years, a very proven platform. And it has a drive-by-wire system, so the hand controls communicate to the pump via wires, and that's how you manually control it. You can drive like a regular mower. Um, your intricate areas. When you get to a bigger area, what you can do is just cut your perimeter pass. You get back to your start point, you have remote, you hit mow, and it starts cutting all the lines in the middle. It has a lot of sensors. You know, we're using GPS, we're using some cellular data that gives us uh, calibration. Uh, we've got wheel sensors, accelerometers, all these kinds of things that helps the machine understand precisely where it is at the time. And um, you can just see here things like cameras in the front, one in the back, so it has a 360 view of what's happening around the whole time. If it comes up near anything, if it's a tree or something, it'll go around the tree. If it's an object that's on the ground, a soccer ball or something like that, the machine will shut down. So now let me ask you this, sir. Now, the lighting here is to make sure that if it gets low light, that the sensors are able to see? That lights, lighting's just for awareness. There's two different color lights in here, and when it goes okay. to robotic enabled, there's one color light, and then when the robot starts running, the other light comes okay. on, and the blinking pulses mean different things. Sure. The operator. That's so, great. Yeah. All right. And you have Vanguard power on this one? Yes, this has a Vanguard 40 horsepower engine. One great thing about this engine has electronic governor, it's very responsive, but that, this engine can communicate with the robotic system to control the engine speed and that kind of thing. So now, if, if it sees it's coming up to uh, some sort of obstacle or something like that, it'll throttle back? We try to keep the engine full speed the whole time we got blades on, so it just, it but if controls. it finishes, you know, it can idle down. Yeah. Sure, yeah. okay, all right. Now we got to talk about price anytime we talk about something like this. That was coming next. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not cheap, but um, I think the ROI is there. You, especially if you've got a lot of weeks per year that you're cutting and mm -hmm. doing some large areas, uh, park or soccer plexes or places like that are ideal. Um, in that kind of environment, um, this is a partnership between Bright and Greensy. So Greensy owns and manages all the software that's in the machine. And they have a service fee of $12,000 a year that includes full support of all the computer stuff that's all going on. All the computerizer that takes care of yeah. the the wheels. And there's a lot of subscriptions under the hood. You know, it's connected to the internet and that okay. kind of stuff. And then uh, the base machine, we believe to be around $30,000. We're still trying to figure out where the economies of scale come into this stuff. And in an environment right now where it's hard to get computer chips, it's kind of hard to figure out exactly where we stand with that kind of thing. So we're put around $30,000, I think. So we're talking to get into it is the 30000 That right. covers the machine. Yep. $12,000 a year per subscription yep. for um, did you say green, green Z? Z? Yep, green Z? Green Z. Okay. Yep. And that gets you started the first year. Is there any possibility that Green Z may start lowering the subscriptions if the more you sell? You know, if I can look at my crystal ball and see the future, I think all of this type of technology, the price is going to come down pretty quickly as we gain scale. Okay. Now, well, and I would think it may, may not. But yep. And okay. Also, just I'll point out, we have back here Steve and CDQ from Green Z. They're, Great. They're so we're talking this. about. Uh, the money you're going to save, not just in, not just in operations <laughs> and operators. Um, let's say someone doesn't show up today. So this is the, this is how you it works. You know, if you just have one robotic mower and you got to look over it, you didn't save anything. Right. You're spending extra. The real sweet spot I found with it is having two, one person, two robotic mm -hmm. machines, and one regular machine. So what I'll do is I'll pull up on a property, I'll pull, pull the first robot out. And I'll notch off an area real quick, maybe an acre spot, half acre spot. Mm -hmm. I'll pull the other one out, another half acre spot. I'll pull the third mower out. I'll start manually going around the edges or between the plots where I could set up. I might start prepping my third area. When the first machine finishes, I leave frog it over. So I'm running three mowers, about 80% efficiency, productivity. So one person can do around two and a half at tops, maybe three times as much work. And I think that's it. Would be kind of a model for a dedicated mow crew to do larger areas. Are these 
going to have programs at some point where each property you is going to know the property. Yeah. And that machine is going to know its cut. So one thing you get for that for, for twelve thousand dollars a year okay. is this. The computer system that's in here has a ton of capability. We're only scratching the surface of what this machine is capable of. We also want to start um, simple and solid, so you don't have to use an app. There's no screens. There's just two buttons right here, you know, to to set your map when you're mowing. You can also cancel and clear. And then there's a remote control, which you don't have to use all these buttons. You know, you can drive it around if you want. I can do that. But the reality is, you just have to use the mow button um, in order to start the machine we have the e-stop here so you can stop it and okay. you can toggle your speed so like you want okay. a little bit better cut quality the growth is heavy you might slow it down a couple notches or sure. you know, your light you might speed it up a couple notches well thought out oh wait a minute i've got to bring up the most important part of this what's that and ed is going back to the future he's got we're going to call this analog fuel gauge <laughs> yeah that's so, right so we've got computerization and then we got realization here. Yeah, you know, you don't want any. So this is a great combination, Ed. I appreciate that. Sure thing. <laughs> All right, appreciate so it. now wheel motors and the drive basically is still, it's maintained with your normal interchangeable parts for your other motors and cracks. Okay, so. so the wheel motors on this are a regular H series, uh, 15 cubic inch wheel motors. Mm -hmm. And then if I open this up, So here we have the pumps, which are normal pumps, but there's an actuator on here. It's kind of like a windshield wiper motor type of thing. Sure. It's all sealed, right? It's part of the okay. pump. And that motor is controlling the pump displacement, but the actual hydraulics are normal parts. So it's going to operate in the rain. We're not going to have to worry about no. any of that sort of thing. IP69. Yep. It's all sealed in here. Okay, good deal. Yep. And electronics are relatively easy. I mean, actually really easily accessed. Yep. And all the adjustments. Yep. Mechanical adjustments are really just real simple to get to. We've always had an approach of trying to keep things simple because that means there's less things to break or mm -hmm. has to be fixed. It's easy to figure out what needs right. to be fixed. So you've, you've maintained maintainability. Yeah. All right. So one of our philosophies, I call it modularity, mm -hmm. is, is when you have really good modularity in how you design things, then your, your failure modes and how you repair things become much, much more simple because it's a single subsystem that you're dealing with at a time. If you intermingle too much of those, and you don't have to be a large really operation in order to be able to maintain your line of mowers yeah. because everything interchanges. Yeah, there's a huge amount of part commonality. Sure. Okay. All right. Well, sir, I really appreciate you showing us this line. Is there anything else you'd like to let the people know? Oh, I guess. Well, there's a few things to mention. One is just that I'm I'm really glad that we're back at GIE this year. Um, I understand why they canceled it last year, and I think the attendance would have been really low, anyways. But uh, this year it's really great turnout. It's good to see everybody again. This, this is really a community, this industry, and uh, it's important this kind of event. And uh, we've got the WZK that we saw inside with Mr. Ed Wright. And uh, this is their autonomous mower, and it will, it will mow this thing by itself. There's no one out here with any controls. It's been programmed that it goes where it's supposed to go. So there's just one of the demonstrations. Check it out. Pretty neat, huh?